Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, July 2nd, 2022. Week 187. It's a July 4th weekend. Yes, it is. Independence Day. I'm excited. You're closed oh, on Monday, at, right? Yeah, look at I have earrings to match. Ooh, fancy. They match my my red, white, and blue stripe. Okay. <laughs> nice. It's okay. Well, I have been trying to be more active, and I've gotten downstairs four times this week for half-hour bike rides, mm-hmm. which is a start. Um, cause the week before, before that I had not gotten down once and where I'm going with that is on the weights. Uh, I've also tried to modify my diet with, uh, steering it and going in the direction of, but also based on the foods that we have. So it's slowly changing each day, uh, towards a carnivore for just a little bit, just to see what'll happen and, and whatnot. And I'm very happy to say that last week I was 348. And this week I'm 344, so I'm down four pounds. Whoop, whoop. Good job. Yeah, I'm just going to try and keep going in that direction and eat very simple and stick with carnivore if I can and eliminate some of those things like the carb shells or the carb yeah. breads or the carb things that we had mm-hmm. and uh, just go more basic and go more meats and stuff. So I'm not a big meat eater, so that doesn't sound appealing to so me. So I'm going to try that for a little while, a well, little while longer, and yeah. see where it gets me. But so far, I'm very happy this week with the movements and the extras, and purposely just trying to make myself do stuff. I'm not sleeping well. There's a couple of days I didn't sleep at all, but I'm doing my best at that too. I'm laying down. Good job. So I'm trying. I made him come to bed with me last night. Yeah, I'm trying. So you know, gotta give it. Best shot. Yeah. So last week I was 163 and this morning I was 161. Um, been really trying to do the effort of not eating when I come home at night. Uh, gosh, that bird's loud. <laughs> we have a really, our windows are closed, but we can hear the birds pretty good out there. Because <laughs> um, I'm working a lot of 9.30, 10 o'clock shifts. Um, so I've just really made a conscious effort to... Make sure my dinner and my snack are done at work and not eating when I get home. Yeah, come home. So, yeah. So, it's, 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 it's good. It's all good. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I have a Bill bought me the wicking shirts. Um, really nice shirt. It's a it's a V-neck. Um, I have a hoodie on over it just because... They feel good, too. Yeah, they feel good. The warehouse is a little on the chillier side, but uh, I'm expecting to be crazy swamp like we were yesterday so i'm sure the jacket will only lasts for a little bit um well it's there for you and then when you don't need the jacket the shirt should hopefully help with the wicking abilities and supposedly it's very I breathable i'm hoping yeah we'll see because <laughs> you know when you wear a regular cotton t-shirt you've had a couple even like areas that were wet and uh we'll see how this does for you i'm hoping for the best me too that's me what too. i'm for <laughs> Here, what, did you get like a maroon one? A... Um, no, I actually went with the, the heathered color. So this one is black. I have a pretty green and a purple. Purple. Okay. See, I don't see color so well, so I yeah. <laughs> just kind of guess it's stuff. <laughs> My daughter it's helped pick them out for uh, with Bill because I was at work and yeah. uh, he ordered them up and said, here's what we've got. So and if you don't like it, you just return it. It's Amazon, you know, yeah. but no, I'm, I'm hopeful that they'll help you. Me too. Me too. Life is going to be good. So it is good. I can't believe it's July already. It's crazy. Yeah, half this year is over with. It's crazy. It is. Hope everybody has a safe fourth. I don't know if you've got plans. I'm working first thing in the morning uh, for Camas, the reservations, and then I'm off the rest of the day. So we're going to try and find some fireworks. Bill doesn't like to partake necessarily in the fireworks, but the girls and I still do. No. So I'm not a fireworks man. Never has been. Never he have. always went just for me. Yep, I did. Now our kids are old enough. I'm like, eh, if they <laughs> want to go, they can go. I'm, I'm fine without it. I'd yeah. rather be home and in the comfort of my own room instead of getting eaten by bugs and <laughs> a couple little, yay, okay, can we go home? And then you got to wait 20 minutes of traffic to get the out of there. The fireworks that I miss the most are down by my sister Shelley's um, at the county fairgrounds uh there oh, crown in indiana, point. Crown indiana. Point, uh, in indiana yep uh chicago fireworks really well we didn't see those very often because that's just a crazy hot it just mess takes forever to get there and get yeah. out of there but the fairgrounds they used to go down uh almost every year uh for the fourth of july weekend me and the girls and speaking like a true dad 
Right. <laughs> Chicago's were great. They were good. Yeah. But it's just such a pain to get there and get out of there. The fairground was nice because my sister used to, we used to be able to walk from my sister's house to the fairground. So right. walking is way different than when you're trying to drive and get out of there. So yeah. um, it makes no, everything Crown here in Michigan good. kind of fail in comparison. <laughs> yeah. But it's still nice to see them. I'm sure we have some Detroit, you know, like by the waterfronts yeah. or something that are real good. But I'm Again, not going down to Detroit. No. Sorry. Tell me to try to stay local, but we'll see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, hey, any Elvis fans out here? Because uh, I've been down the rabbit hole of the Elvis stuff. And not so much because of the new movie, but there were some other tie-ins that I was watching and researching some things recently, uh, even before that with JFK stuff and everything. And uh, now I'm on to NASA and the moon landings and all kinds of fun things. YouTube's full of fun things to watch. But anyway, uh, I've been really enjoying all the... Um, Elvis documentaries and interviews of people that were around him and stuff. Um, I'm a second generation Elvis fan. Let's see, my my mom and my aunts and, and my grandma even, so third generation. Yeah. Uh, but they all loved Elvis and, um, you know, it kind of stuck with me. Just like my grandma loved Johnny Cash and now I'm still into Johnny Cash still. So. Yeah. But yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with that. And uh, if you're into Elvis stuff, let me know. But uh, I've, I've been having a blast with, with watching some documentaries. There's one called The Searcher. It's like three hours long, but it's well worth it. It's a good one. And uh, I, I want to go see the movie. In the I'll movies. go see it with you. You see enough of my movies. Yeah, I always put up with Stacy's movies. But I don't know if she could sit through that long. You'd have to take your hearing aids out. <laughs> probably, because it's going to be a mixture of talking and music. And it's uh, probably going to be too much for your yeah. to hear with. That's that's my biggest concern. I don't need you getting a migraine because you went to go see Elvis with me. Yeah, <laughs> it's well, too loud. Okay. She Gosh. can't handle <laughs> the loud movies or, or any kind of war movies. Or it, it just it's too much for her hearing. Speaking it. of, gosh, yesterday at Costco, I I was down at the, one of the far end registers, and I was, and it's very rare. I don't think I've ever had that experience other than during our hockey siren month of May. Um, I literally, I'm like, you, you, I can't be on, you need to move me. I can't be on this register. Between the thunderous rain coming down and I was right underneath an AC unit and a big fan that we have. And then our majors department had a, um, one of those speakers that just. Bluetooth speaker. Thing Bluetooth was speaker. They were, it was like the karaoke thing and it was just turned up. The, it was thumping bass in. I was by the ice machine. They were throwing ice into the machine, into the, um. Cooler uh, thing. Cooler thing. Yeah. And then by the food court, it was so loud in there yesterday. And I literally was overwhelmed. I'm like, okay, hang on. I had to close myself and said, I can't. You need to switch me to the other end. I just, I, and it's weird because I've never really overwhelmed like that. But yesterday, I think just it's not being able, storm. yeah, not being able to figure out what the noises were, where they were coming from. Um, and then people were yelling and, uh, Good Lord, I, I I was overwhelmed. Rough day. But yeah. well, when they moved you, it was much then better, Then they moved right? me down to the other end. I was absolutely fine. Well, I'm glad you said something. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure they don't realize when you're doing the hearing aids and how much it amplifies things. And then, yeah. you know, it's just, it's got to be rough. They don't. They came down there like, are you okay? And I'm like, no, 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 I'm not. <laughs> I said, move me down. Because I was down at the other end, no problem. And then halfway through my shift, they put me down on register two. I love register one because there's no barrier up. There's no plexiglass or anything. So I can actually have a conversation with a member and not Easier. scream or not say, I'm sorry, what did you say? And kind of walking around. So I normally love working down there, but not yesterday. Hmm. So I fixed it. All so, well. so our plan for July 4th is just to find some fireworks local. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and you're going to make hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill. Sure, I can do that. I know we have <laughs> propane. I know the grill is starting up. We've done that a few times. Yeah. I haven't really gotten outside to do much projects. We we did a little bit of flowers, some begonias and petunias, because we couldn't find begonias. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But other than that... Um, I feel the mysterious hole that ended up in my backyard area. It was like a long tube type of hole. I don't, I don't know, know if something that. was... I have no idea. But I can tell you the snakes... We're out in force on Monday when I was out working in the grass. I'm like, okay, I have a little bit more digging to do by one of the trees, but that's where I saw two of the snakes going in under the um, 
Bricks. Foundation of the Bricks, yeah. Oh, yuck. Yeah, that wasn't happening on Monday, so that project is... When we go <laughs> outside old. to do the, the yard and cutting and weed wicking or whacking or whatever, uh, close the main garage door and go outside door <laughs> and close it and just close it. Because uh, I don't want a snake coming in the garage that I don't know about. Mm. And then I'm sitting in the hot tub or something and, <laughs> you know, a snake comes in and there. And one of them... Or they come in the house because that door is connected to the house too. One of them was so aggressive. I was on my riding lawnmower and I, w- I was about ready to jump up because it was like jumping up at me. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Once I see that, I'm like, I, he was jumping up onto the mower because I, I would have run him over. I don't feel bad when I run him over. You'd think they would run I'm away from the noise because that's well, loud. Well, yeah, and I, and I weed whipped first before I went out and mowed, so mm. I think I irritated them with that first. All know. our neighbors are have a yard service, but we can't afford that. So not all of them, quite a few. Most of them, now. Of them do. Yeah, when the truck comes, he goes like house to house to house, and then what's happened is as their lawnmowers break, they're like, "Okay, I'm not paying another to get four a new grand one or whatever." In. Yeah, because you know we've got some some pretty good sized lots here, and then some steeper hills um, in the back. We have a it's a know, work, it's pretty, a job. Yeah, pretty good incline that goes up and down. So. Um, and people are just like, I'm done. I'll just hire somebody. They can do it. Yeah. Getting to that age too, where if I could afford it, I would. <laughs> yeah. I'm with the riding mower. I'm still pretty good with the riding mower. So yeah, I'm okay the, with that. Except for when the snakes want to jump we up had at the me. Push mower. And even though it was an assisted push mower, it, it was beyond a workout. It would like put you the, in traction. Yeah. The first year I mowed with the push mower, which I, I love. I don't like to, I don't. Like the smell of fresh cut grass. However, my mother in law bought me a striping kit for my lawnmower, and so I had some really. Not, I'll have to see if I can find a picture so we can send it up there. Yeah, you haven't but, done that uh, in a long time. Yeah, because you got to push the push. Because you got to push it. the push mower. But I did really nice diamonds in my yard, and should do that for the front yard again. Like take a picture of it before, like when you cut it with the riding lawnmower, it just looks nice. It's short, yeah. but then take a picture of it and then do the crisscrosses with. Just pushing the mower yeah. with that drag behind thing, and uh, then take a picture like a before and after. Yeah, it's so different. Maybe July Fourth. That's what we'll do. All right. I gotta change the flag too. Yeah. I got a new flag. I just haven't hung it up yet. You gotta hang it up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get Stacy off to work. I'm going to continue my little house projects and um, do. And I've and I've almost pretty much. I forgot to mention earlier. I've almost pretty much given up coffee. Uh, I even have one from yesterday. I did make a coffee, and it's full. I, I just barely sipped at it, and I was like, you know, nah. So I've been, I've been stopping that because I was having some heart palpitations, and those all went away. Just like doctor said. He said, let's change some medicines. Let's change some yeah. of your habits, which coffee was a huge habit for me. I would wake up tired because I didn't sleep well, and even today I'm fighting yawning. But uh, I'm not doing the coffee anymore like like I was. At least not like I was. I've had a cup here and there, but nothing. Ooh, bug zapper. Mm-hmm. Nothing like what I used to. And it's making a difference, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. So I'm happy with that. <coughs> but yeah, I'm going towards carnivore. We're going to give that more of a try this week. Uh, continue to try and get on the bike. I want to see these numbers come down. For the longest time, I was stuck in the 330s. Remember how I used to complain about that? I'd be happy to be in the 330s again. But yeah. I'm halfway there now. Four down this week. There you go. I have no idea why. We'll get it. I'll take it, and I'll move forward with it. Yeah. So hopefully everybody's doing good, and you have a great holiday weekend. And we will see you next week. See you later. Bye. Bye.